Good evening guys, my great viewers, my great fans, uh, welcome to Mwalimu Nyambane channel. Today we are going to uh, what we call content uh, delivery. We have been doing MQTC programs and we are going to continue with them. Meanwhile, allow me to take you to the content uh, delivery. We are looking at a, at a topic known as rates of work which is from three topic uh, as you can be able to see there is a question here finding the value of x in the equation i've given you the equation as we proceed kindly solve it so that we can be able to see at the end of it whether your answer and mine are the same but but uh, today's question says john and mary working together can do a piece of work in six days john working alone takes five days more than Mary. How many days does it take Mary to, to do the work alone? So we have two people here. We have uh, John, at the same time we have Mary. When combined, they take six days. So in, a, in one day, they will take which fraction, or they will be able to do which fraction of this work. It will be 1 over 6 days. That's 1 over 6. So, meaning in one day, both of them will do 1 over 6 of the piece of work. John working alone takes 5 days more than Mary. So, in this question, we will let X to represent the number of days that Mary will take alone. That's the first step. So, under solution, you will see me saying, let X be the number of days Mary takes to do the work. That's, that's the starting point. So if Mary takes X days to do the, the work, in one day, which fraction of the work will she have done? It will be 1 over X. So 1 over X is is the fraction of the piece of work that Mary does in a day. Now, let's look at the number of days John will take when alone. John takes 5 days more than Mary, and Mary takes X. So if you take X plus 5, you get the number of days that John will take while alone. Total number of days John will take in X plus 5. Now, what fraction of work will John do in a day? The, the, the fraction will be 1 over the total number of days John takes. And we have said John will take x plus 5. So the fraction will be 1 over x plus 5. Now let's go to calculations. And remember here we are supposed to find the number of days uh, the number of days that Mary will take to do the work alone. And that is the value of x. So let us form the equation and solve it together. Karibuni. So before we commence, meanwhile, I'm requesting you uh, to take a second and subscribe. At the same time, like. Thank you. So let's proceed. Remember we said X will represent the number of days Mary will take. The fraction of, uh, of the work that Mary will do alone will be 1 over X. Plus the fraction of work that John will do alone. That's 1 over X plus 5 which will be equivalent to the fraction of work they will do in a day when they are put together. That is 1 over 6. Now, let's look for the LCM. LCM of x, x plus 5 and 6, will be 6 times x into brackets x plus 5. So, this is the fraction, this is the LCM of x, x plus 5 and 6. I've multiplied all the three to obtain this. Now, how many times will x go to this particular LCM? The x and x will cancel out, leaving us with 6 into brackets x plus 5. 6 into brackets x plus 5. Then plus x plus 5 will cancel with x plus 5. That means x plus 5 will go to x, 6x into brackets x plus 5, 6x times. Because this one, when it cancels out, will remain with 6x. So we write 6x is equals to 
how many times will 6 go to 6x into brackets x plus 5? The 6 will cancel with this 6. The main remaining is x into x plus 5. I've ignored 6 here because it will cancel out. This being a, 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 an equation, we ignore the HCM. Now let's open the brackets on the numerator. 6 times x is 6x. Six, 6 times 5 is 30. Then plus 6x is equals to x times x is x squared. x times 5 is 5x. Now, let's put like terms together or, or rearrange by starting from x square. x square when it goes back it becomes minus x squared. We have plus 6x, this one, then plus 6x again, then plus this when it goes back it becomes minus 5x. Then here we have plus 30. So this is x squared. 6x plus 6x is 12. 12 minus 5 is 7. That is 7x. Then plus 30 is equals to 0. So we can divide by minus 1, pi minus 1, pi minus 1, pi minus 1. Which means our quadratic equation becomes x squared minus 7x plus minus I'm sorry, this is a minus here. So, minus 30 is equals to 0. Now, here, let's use sum product. Sum is the coefficient of x, which is minus 7. Uh, product is coefficient of x square, which is 1 times minus 30. That gives us minus 30. Let's look for two factors. When we add them, we get minus 7. When we find their product, we get minus 30. Those ones will be minus 10 and positive Three. So those are our factors. We will now remove minus 7x and put minus 10x and 3x in state. So we will have x squared minus 10x plus 3x minus that is equals to 0. Then we print brackets as shown. And then from there we look for the common factor. Common factor in this kind of brackets is x. Which we remain, uh, we will remain with x minus 10 inside the brackets, then plus common there is 3 into x minus 10 is equal to 0. We take the factors that are out, that is x plus 3. Mm -hmm. Then, since this, this factor is the same as this one, we only take 1, and then we equate to 0. Then we can now say x plus 3 is equal to 0 or x minus 10 is equal to 0. Because we need the value of x, we will say x is equal to take this positive 3 to the other side, take minus 10 to the other side. So x will be 10. But remember here, x represents the number of days. So days cannot be negative. Therefore, x becomes positive 10. And x represents the number of days Mary will take. So we will now say Mary will take 10 days. So that's how we do it. And remember initially I told you to solve this kind of an equation. The moment you solve uh, for x here, you will get that x is equals to minus 3 or positive 10. If you did that, congratulations. So thank you for listening to me. All I can request you is that Keep watching, uh, share the link so that many people can subscribe to our channel. Thank you. God bless you. See you next time.